effort provision in the real world. What we have seen so far is that loss aversion can explain effort provision in the lab. Now we want to look at a, a classic study which made an interesting observation in practice. This observation was made by Kamera, Babcock, Lowenstein, and Thaler. What they observed was that New York cab drivers work shorter hours on rainy days with high demand than on other days with long waiting time between customers. Why is this observation puzzling? Typically, higher hourly earnings should increase labor supply because you should work until your marginal effort costs are equal to your marginal earnings. So this is what standard theory tells us. On rainy days, you have to wait less for customers. This decreases your effort costs and thereby should increase your effort provision. However, in line with the observation we, we made before, these, this was not the case. So here we observe that getting faster to, to a certain payment um, makes you actually work less. And, and this might be the case here. So here a possible explanation is that daily, that the, the cab drivers have daily uh, target incomes as a reference point. So they, they start the day and say they want to work until they earned $200 for example. Um, and then on a rainy day, getting to these $200 is way faster than on a sunny day where you have to wait for hours because everyone uh, prefers to walk instead of taking the cab. Okay, so what we can see here is that loss aversion is also, seems to be an important driver in, in effort provision in real world settings.